Morning guys. Back out again. Morning guys. Uh. Morning. Um, not really got so much planned for today. Uh, it's been a bit of a hectic week for me. Um, not very well either. So excuse the coughing if you get coughing and snotty nose sniffing. But uh, it's just a flu anyway. Um, we're just going to do a bit of curb stripping at the moment. Um, it's a bit early in the morning to go door knocking. So um yep that's what we decided to do for j just for a moment but uh we'll see what comes up and obviously we'll show you the first mines well first diggable saga today was a coin and it's just a little 10 cent coin but i'm on the board so yep hope we get a lot more today we'll just pull up a penny the Georgia 6 um, I'll get a date later for you probably in the 1940s something like that so yep not bad pretty decimal second coin second target second coin very nice I nearly didn't dig this it was really down really deep and on its edge like that so it was a bit jumpy but I still new to dig it, so first nugget up for the day. Let's see how many of them I accumulate by the end of today. Hopefully a fair few for the bike pond. From out of that hole there, just to be this footpath, up on the curb strips, pulls out a lovely little, whoops, let's get it right for you. Nineteen thirty one trip. That'll be George the fifth. Well I'm throwing it away. I'm that excited. <laughs> Wrong side. There he is, old Georgie boy. <laughs> so I was on the board. Yes. Oh, I feel a lot better now. That's gonna ease my head cold a lot finding that today. Woohoo! Well, just got this old permission here. Um, got all the front to do, and he's going to open the gate and let me in. But I got more than more than enough for a moment just to do the front. I don't know where Gary is. I'll have to give him a ring. See if he's got his phone. He's disappeared somewhere. So um, I'll try and get in touch with him and tell him that we got this permission. So anyway, we should be locked, and let's see what comes up. And here he is to make his legendary appearance. The legendary seeker. <laughs> this is a posh one. It's got writing on it. SC. Yep, it showed its face. It always does. Let's carry on. <laughs> I think we've caused a bit of a domestic in that household. Uh, as the husband said, yes, when the wife came back home, she was not very happy <laughs> finding two people digging up what probably is her pride and joy. <laughs> so we are, we're going to make a hasty getaway before it uh, escalates to such a point that it causes any bother. Anyway, while I've got you out, as you've just seen, the legendary sinker. Now, this one, what Gaz has found, is... <laughs> The legendary sinker of all time. There you go. I mean, I don't know what you're trying to catch when you're using something like that, but I reckon you're trying to hit it on the head and knock it out <laughs> <laughs> instead of it trying to trying to catch it with a hook, because that is one serious bloody lead weight, man. That's the that's the legend that I can never beat that. Never. Gaz takes the prize of the ultimate le legendary sinker of all time. <laughs> Let's go find somewhere else. <laughs> so we moved again, um we got these old set of units to do. Just knocked on the door and she said, Yeah, go ahead. So we'll have a look around here. A bit close, close to the road, so if you get any road noise, can't help that, as you can see I'm right on the road at the moment, but 
be a lot quieter when we get round the back. But yep, let's have a look what's around here. Well, there wasn't too much of that last place. So we come back to what I call Penny Patch. I've had 17 pennies out of here. And um, a 1902 Albert and Alexandria medallion um, that he used to give kids on his coronation. Um, the gamble is, did we leave anything behind? So we're going to give it a half an hour and see if we can see if there's any still there, really. Um, we're just cruising around, just taking it easy today, so it suits me because I'm not very well, but let's see if we... One thing that I haven't found out of here yet is silver, so if we pull a silver, that's 100% excellent. Well, the place is still giving up fines. Guys just showed today he's got a Commonwealth penny. And I've got this really old bottle of stuff with, with about a cork in it. So, it's still worth having a look around here. I mean, you never get them all, do you? Well, I just came up with this. For all accounts, it looks gold. It's ringing really up low, but that's not gold. No markings or anything like that, but not quite sure what that is. What the emblem is. It's pretty. It might be an add on to the necklace. Have to see. Yeah, I like that. Well, my wife is going to absolutely love him. He's a little lead frog. Um, recently she lost a ring, a frog ring, a silver ring, and she wore it for years and years and years, and just one day it wasn't there anymore, so I tried to get a, another frog ring, but the closest I could get was a silver pendant, <laughs> and to come across this little fella now, he's broken, but... He's so cute, absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's drawing to a close. I haven't been feeling well today, so it's been a bit slow going. Poor Gaz, he's had to put up with me. <laughs> feeling like crap. <laughs> but uh, we're just gonna give this old field a, a bit of a swing for the last hour. It's been done already, we know that, but just want to chill out and just enjoy the sun so but if we do find anything and I reckon there's still stuff here there always is but if we do you'll be the first to know well Gaz has just pulled up his silver got a little thrip and uh, a couple of pennies and I've just come up with this don't know what he's made of only pressed but the little snake how cool is that? I'd have to give him a brush and a clean up, but ha, that's great. Well, that's it for me and Gaz this week. Hopefully next week I'll feel a bit better, eh, Gaz? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been feeling too well today. I've had a lot on my place, a lot of things have happened just, just recently. Let's kind of put a dampener on, but never mind. We still found a bit of stuff, even though we had a quiet day. Um, we'll do the obligatory roundup in the car, and as usual, we'll go over to Gaz's side first. Tell us what you got, Gaz. A lot of junk, usual. Got this little canister, like an old relic. Big piece of lead. Legendary. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, God knows what that's These, about. We've been digging them up all day. Always around telegraph poles. Yeah, it must be something to do with the wiring, I reckon, yeah. join wires. Only uh, six bucks in goldies. Five, um, five pennies, three full pennies, and two half pennies. And he found that in the last field. Yeah. That last field that we just done. And, and it's always a, a good day to have a thrip yeah. silver. Yeah, he just found that in that last field as well. Yeah. Saved his day. Well, I like his little dozer. Little little dozer. Yeah. For his collection. Yeah. Uh, harmonica reed you got there in the back of see guys. Yeah, you got a few of those today. Yeah, yeah. We both got them, some of them. Anyway, over to my side. We'll go to obligatory pieces of junk. 
Oh, you just, got one too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Around telegraph poles, that's where you always find them. There must be something to do, like you said, with the wiring. Yeah, join wires together. Yeah. Um, oh, that's in a good side. Yeah, nearly a couple of full harmonica reeds there. Um, that was silver ball. We don't know, really know what that is. Probably just the end of a drawer or something. Gather things, just pull a drawer knob or something like that. Um, coins, we got a few tens. I think I got 18 bucks in nuggets, which will go into the bike fund pot very nicely. A few pieces of legendary lead. Nothing like gazers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's You're just amazing. A gold nugget. Um, an old bottle top. Nothing on it, but that's one that would have had the cork inside, so that's a pretty old one, but it's got no discerning marks on it to tell us what kind of brand it was or anything like that. Couple of tens. Uh, just the one penny for me, 1950 something or other. Just a root penny. Um, I got that little thrip as well. Whoops. Again, I'm throwing it away. That's a little George V. I think he was, I can get him, 1934 by the look of it. So both of us was on a bit of silver today. And uh, that little badge thing, I have no idea what that is, it's not precious. I have no idea what design that is, it looks like it's someone had War of the Worlds to me, but who knows. And uh, my little snake. To end the day with, he's not again. He's not precious, but he's still got the pin on the back, and he looks pretty old. So, just a bit of bling. Anyway, I saw stunt guys. Oh, I'll be your way tomorrow, next week. Yeah, I just can't get away from these bloody brown buggers, eh? Nah, they just love my machine. He's definitely. He, <laughs> Brown bugger mate. And I hardly find any lately, so yeah. anyway, you know what to do. If you like the videos, please give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, all that kind of stuff really helps us out. Thanks for watching again guys and hopefully I'm a bit better next week and I'll see you again. See you next week.